it's January. My phone is ringing off the hook and my email is being inundated with other email. People are calling me for help with their divorce. It's January, it's divorce month, and these are the top three financial concerns that I think are trending in 2022. Number one, the house. Real estate prices continue to be high. Rents are exorbitant. Inventory is low. So if you sell the house in a divorce, where are you and your spouse going to live? Are you going to have to pay capital gains tax? If so, how much? What if you stay in the house? Can you negotiate a fair buyout amount with your spouse? Can you qualify to refinance the mortgage in your own name? Can you even afford it? These are the kinds of issues I help people with. Issue number two, inflation. Have you noticed how expensive things have gotten? Groceries, restaurants, just from a few months ago. Well, I have news for you. When you negotiate child and spousal support, you don't get an automatic cost of living adjustment every year. So you need to factor that in. You need to be thinking about how much support will cover today and, and well, whether it will cover your expenses three or five years from now, whether you're paying support or receiving support, you've got to look at this issue. Issue number three, equity compensation. In the old days, when you worked for a company, you got a salary, maybe a cash bonus. Not so these days. More and more people are getting paid in stock. I'm talking about restricted stock units, performance stock units, non-qualified stock options, incentive stock options. If you are not financially literate on this issue and you're going through a divorce, you need to be because it's highly likely that either you or your spouse, if you work for a corporation, get, get some of your pay is through equity. And this stuff can be divided and is divided as property in divorce, but it also can be factored into child and spousal support calculations. I'm Laurie Itkin. I'm a divorce financial planner and certified divorce financial analyst serving clients throughout California. I work on 50 to 60 divorce cases a year. So if I can be helpful to you as an advocate or as a neutral to you and your spouse, whether you're going through mediation, doing a divorce online, or using lawyers, please don't hesitate to reach out to me at theoptionslady.com. You can go to my website, you can Google The Options Lady, and hopefully I won't be as busy in February and March, so please reach out now and we can schedule a phone call to get to know one another. Thanks for watching.